All PowerPoint arrestors in existence started their life as this, a completely blank presentation. So in this tutorial, we're going to be turning this through the series of tutorials into a fully blown PowerPoint arrest. So without further ado, let's get started. So we PowerPoint OS developers, we don't really like this title mechanic, so we're going to delete that as the first thing. And the next thing is we don't want people bypassing our slides just by clicking because that makes login systems useless. So what you do is you go to slideshow, set up slideshow, browse the kiosk. So these are like the default things that anyone does when they create a PowerPoint OS. So the next thing to add is something called the palette. Now what is a palette? It is the basically the design of the buttons and the menus and the text boxes and things like that. So what I'm going to do is build up a basic um, list of every type of UI element I'm going to have in my PowerPoint OS. And then once I've done that, I'll style them. So I'll get back to you once I've done that. Now, I have now created um, a composite of all these different possible UI elements I can use, for example, app strip, uh, close button, menu button, selected and unselected, application button, button, title, subtitle, text, heading, group, uh, start, selected and unselected, taskbar, menu bar, etc. So these are the, like, the building blocks that we'll be using to create um, the operating system. And if we need to add anything more, we'll just add um, what we've added and put it back in here and then use it later on. It's like our reference. So obviously we don't want when the user uh, starts a presentation to go into this because it does nothing. So we're going to hide it. We're going to right click and we're going to hide the slide. Now that's toggled. We duplicate that and we will clear that as a blank slide ready for the next stage. Now, whenever you launch a real OS, it comes up with a blue boot screen. So, um, for example, it have the logo, and then it has a spinny, uh, what do you call it, spinny icon, please wait icon. So, while it loads, it shows you that. Of course, in most cases, you don't really need to load anything, but it's good to just to add to the realism of the operating system, uh, well, the PowerPoint operating system. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a shape over the background to conceal it and I'm going to set that to black um, so now that's a black background it will block it all out as most start off with black and then um, you can have it white as well but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it black initially then fade into white now to make it automatically go to the next side um, you need to go to transitions then you need to go advanced slide after make sure that box is ticked um, and I'm going to set it to two seconds and then the next side is going to be the same, but it's going to fade into um, a lighter color, which will be the um, design for the boot screen. So I'm going to design that with animations and stuff, and I'll be get back to you. So I've designed the boot screen, and I've used animations for the um, the boot screen. So that means it's concealed. So I'll just have to move these out of the way. Now I've created this using shapes. I've just literally grouped a whole lot of shapes. This is a um, hollow circle this is a trapezium on its side um, I don't know what <laughs> I've forgotten the names I should know the names whoops um, and just on the white background 
and then you have these shapes to move in automatically conceal it and then move away and then you have the spinning icon now the way to do that is pretty simple so if I create a new slide to show you all you need to do is go insert shapes and then draw this shape now um, to make sure it's perfect circle hold down control and shift um, and it will keep it aligned exactly so the Y and X axis when you're drawing it remain the same in terms of proportion to each other now we're going to set the fill of the shape so the background can be uh, anything you desire uh, for this example I might have blue just like windows set the outline to nothing and then you duplicate the shape on top of it and align it to where it was and then you go edit shape change shape and change it to the um, segment version of it so which is uh, let me find it there now you can change that to another color which is like the highlight version you zoom in and you change this setting and you just literally draw it over until it's at the right angle and proportion of the circle that you want so after that you select them group them and then the next part is you open the animation pane so you go animations animation pane then you add a new animation spin and that will spin the icon around to, but you need to make it go forever and automatically so you set this to start after previous then you go to timing and then you say repeat until end of side so that will mean it will automatically go and it will go on until you change the side like this and you can make that faster by going uh, by changing the interval here so I'm going to say loop at 0.5 seconds I go there and it will go faster If you enjoyed this video you can kindly like, comment or subscribe and on the screen is the other content there is on this channel as well as a discord server link which you can join um, that's usually in the description so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.